Good day, everybody. My name is Mrs. Olatsunchi Ifeoluwa, and I am one of your editors for CHM 101, General Chemistry. I will be taking you through this course while some other people will also join along the line. So to start with, without wasting time, we will go through study session one. Study session one, which is introduction to chemistry. Introduction to chemistry. I'm sure we must have heard in one place or the other the word chemistry. What exactly does this chemistry mean? How does mean? How do we apply it to our day-to-day -day activities? This is what we are going to go through in this particular study session. Now, what is chemistry? Definition of chemistry. Chemistry is the study of scientific matter. The study of scientific matter, its properties and interactions with other matter and with energy. Chemistry is the scientific study of matter, its properties and interactions with other matter and with energy. That means it's the study of matter as they react with their environment, as they react with their environment. We have different branches of chemistry. We have the agrochemistry, which involves um, the use of fertilizers, the use of compost, manure. Chemically, how, does, how do we apply chemicals to the soil, what are the functions of these chemicals that we that we apply to the soil to make to make to make us have a good yield of plant products? We also have analytical chemistry. Analytical chemistry involves the 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 is it is the aspect of chemistry that involves the knowing of the the qualitative and the quantitative components of an organic compound. It involves the, quali the qualitative and the quantitative co components of compounds. We also have biochemistry, biochemistry, which is the study of biomolecules. The study of biomolecules, the biomolecules that, call, that, that, that makes up the body. We also have food chemistry. Well, we also have food chemistry. How does chemistry apply to food? Of course, it applies to food in the way in several ways. How we ingest food, the kinds of chemical reactions that take place when we ingest our food, the kind of chemical reaction that takes that takes place even inside our body system as they begin to digest. We also have organic chemistry, which which deals with the chemistry of organic compounds. We also have inorganic chemistry, which also deals with the chemistry of inorganic compounds. That mean, I mean the chemistry of transition elements. What are the importance of chemistry? What are the importance of chemistry? We are all chemists in one way or the other. There are several ways in which chemistry has been useful in time past and in present times. We use chemicals every day in all our day-to-day -day activities, from washing of our clothes to 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 other to the food we eat, to to in our agriculture, in so many ways. In medicine, you know, we there are so many ways in which chemistry comes in. There are some chemicals that are are, are being extracted from plants from animals to so as to produce drugs in pharmaceutical companies. So there are so many ways, there are several ways in which chemistry is being used. What is important to know is that chemistry is being used in our day-to-day -day activities. We use chemistry in all activities of life. So chemistry is also part of our way of living. See you some other time.